Hey guys, <clears throat> while I'm taking a quick break here, I've been cutting all this stuff up. I thought I'd show you what I carry with me on the loader. I got my trusty 40 volt hedge trimmer. That's for briars. Um, all kinds of horrible briars. We, you know, they're anywhere in the woods. I like to cut them right out of the way. We got roses, we've got bull briar, you name it. And I carry my trusty little tank that's got the oil for the bar and the gas, two cycle gas in it. That thing is so tough. Now I've had that for probably 15, 20 years at least. Over 20 years. One day I wanted to get it out of the sun. It was blazing while I was working. I stuck it behind the rear tire. Now this loader weighs 7,000 pounds. I backed right over it. Didn't hurt it a bit. You want to see why this thing weighs so much? Just take the fenders for example. One inch steel. That's why I don't worry about surface rust. <laughs> it's not going to rust through. Then I got my Husqvarna. I mount right there. And keep a machete with me. And around the other side, I strap on the PV, which is, <laughs> sorry, which is right there, along with a splitting axe. I keep a wedge inside the cab in the little toolbox I made. Back here's a wire basket that came on the loader, and uh, that's where all the chains get stored. And that's pretty much what I bring with me. Of course, the chains all hook up on here. I love this loader. I've had this for about 25 years. Absolutely love it. It's got a huge bucket because they were clearing snow in Worcester, Mass. with this on the streets. So they wanted a big bucket. Holds about a yard. Well, this thing will lift 2,200 pounds. So... I can fill that with dirt or rocks or firewood stacked high, and it always does the job. It's just a wonderful loader. Anyway, just wanted to show you quick what I carry with me. And uh, these strapped down right here. You have to be a little careful. And the bucket's all the way back. It can hit this handle. It hit it once right there. Uh, and then at the other end, of course, this is articulator steering, so it swings right in the middle. And this end can hit the cab, so it's a balancing act right there. These are the, funny thing, these are the original tires. These have held up. They're probably from the late 80s, early 90s. Those have held up better than the new tires that I've bought. I've had to load these with uh, Leak Stop from Napa. Theirs is by far the best. I use the uh, blue-green stuff without naming it. Never does the job. The Napa with the Napa brand on it. Made by American Seal, something like that. Uh, fabulous. I had to, it was leaking, they were, two new ones were leaking through the sidewalls after a few years. But the Napa saved the day. Those tires aren't cheap. I didn't want to have to buy more. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. How oh, I carry spare chains up in the cab there. And a little toolbox around the corner here, if you can see it. Right there, and a tape measure so I can measure things. I've got a hundred foot tape in the back. And of course, my trusty cup holder, which is on its last legs, but still works. And uh, that's about it. This is our favorite tool around the homestead. We couldn't get by without it. It doesn't have a three point hitch, although supposedly that's what these hooks are for, but I've never come up with a system. And besides which, it's already so back loaded with weight wise that uh, I can't imagine putting more weight on the back. It's for a backhoe supposedly, of course you can put the pads down, but still I don't know how you drive around without a full bucket. So I've never bothered. If we need a uh, three point hitch or a backhoe, we'll get a backhoe. But we survive without it. Got a quick picture of the whole thing. Thank goodness I got new batteries for this off eBay because the old ones wouldn't have lasted this long. <laughs> the gold batteries on eBay, which are very inexpensive, do very well. Got two of them with a charger for 17 bucks. I'm just using my, my little Galaxy 5 here, which takes nice videos, really does. I've got a better program that I 
an app that takes even better videos, but this'll do. Anyway, that's all for that little bit for the moment.